Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Eric Herman from PHP Magazine DE, reporting from the International PHP Conference. Um, I'm here with Robert Lemke, uh, representing the Typo3 NEOS project, and with Nicola Pastorino, representing Easy Publish. Um, today we're uh, talking about um, implementing and a strange framework, Symfony 2, into an existing um, product, Easy Publish, or uh, starting from scratch, uh, inventing an own framework, Flow 3, and uh, putting this into a new um, product, Neos. So, um, Nicola, what do you think are the pros and cons of um, the choices you made with adopting? A framework already existing so um, we wanted to adopt an existing framework because we didn't want to do it ourselves again uh, basically we had this legacy in easy publish 3 and 4 where we had uh, built the entire framework low-level framework ourselves set of libraries and this is not the core business so to say of a uh, content management system or like easy publish but rather we wanted to rely on on other communities open source communities that do that better than us and maintain it better uh, so we can focus on the heart of, uh, of the matter which is really the core content management features and all that comes on top so be it customer experience management features plugins to uh, external tools and uh, yeah so that's why we chose to have an external framework and then we ran a benchmark on the existing frameworks the ones that came uh, to the list were against um, uh, amongst others uh, Zen Framework 2 and Symfony 2 and Yi also or, or why, as some call it. Um, and after a sharp benchmark and uh, strict conditions, we just went for Symphony 2 for uh, the product itself. For there was a vendor also, a uh, company behind it that can help and provide support. And first and foremost for the community, which is really uh, growing a lot, uh, based in Europe quite a lot, just like uh, Easy Publish mostly, but having a foot in the US like us. So we saw there was there were good sim similarities and good uh, synergies that would just fit. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, Robert, um, did uh, the NEOS project also uh, think about moving to other uh, frameworks or did you just start from scratch from the very first second? Yeah, in our case, it was uh, like seven years ago when we uh, found out that Type 3, our content management system, had some problems with the architecture. So at least we saw in long term it wouldn't fit our needs uh, to the projects we were doing. And so at that time, uh, PHP looked quite different and uh, we explored uh, techniques from other um, programming languages as well. So, for example, domain-driven design was something we uh, stumbled upon and, and also dependency injection. Um, and so we had to create our own framework at that time and um, because it was just necessary for our CMS, but we also uh, then later on decided to release it um, because we thought it's it's quite useful for others. I mean, Symfony nowadays um, and, and Flow share a lot of um, um, uh, approaches. Uh, they are quite modern frameworks and they have based on design, design patterns, etc. Um, but still Flow has a, has a slightly different approach, uh, a f different flavor, so to speak. So it's more um, it, uh, an overall concept for, for many things, whereas uh, in Symfony um, you can also build your own framework uh, based on Symfony. So we have more um, the the architecture is already uh, given in flow and uh, the the way how you probably deploy it etc how you store your data uh, it's more opinionated um, than symphony thank you um, so when you um, chose symphony and you had your easy published product um, how easy was it to um, say uh, re make uh, own ideas possible in a, a strange framework or was it sometimes complicated more complicated than doing own implementations uh, there are always trade-offs to do right uh, there are things that you could do probably more quickly by doing it on your own 
and others that you you would take more way far more long far longer than than by using an external framework but all in all uh, at, after looking at the main uh, the main integration challenges, and we just just like Typo also and Nails, we revamped our architecture from the four dotic series to the five dotic series quite drastically. Uh, we we we're now really layer oriented. We have uh, clear service layers that are defined and where we can enforce BC and below which we just can do what we want basically. And it's it's a future proof architecture that we've built. And uh, after having listed the main possible pain points and challenges that we would face. Um, we really understood that most of the most of the points, most of those challenges would be partially, if not entirely, solved by uh, by using Symphony 2, and the rest, a handful, would have to take a bit more time than doing it on our own. But for the sake of sticking to a choice, uh, we would we were really happy to go with Symphony 2 with that. So the cost cost slash benefit trade off was really in the favor of the benefits in this in this case, yeah. And uh, the other way around, uh, Robert, um, can the Flow framework be used for other things than Neos? Yes, uh, uh, we, we really made it so you can create your own standalone applications, of course, and it's also used that way. So the, the basic idea is that you have a um, powerful framework for um, the bigger applications, uh, bigger ap PHP applications, which you eventually can, if you want, integrate into a content management system. I mean, uh, we really came from the other way around. So Symfony came from the framework side and now started a bit uh, creating a content management framework on top of it. And we came from the content management side and we're looking for a um, framework which was um, directly supporting that that kind of applications we were doing but it's it's a bit more high level uh, the flow framework is a bit more high level um, which means we are also actually using some symphony components um, and and uh, so it, it, i mean that makes a lot of sense to uh, not create everything on your own um, and in terms of libraries and smaller components um, that's actually quite quite nice to reuse stuff and and we also plan to decouple a few things from flow so that could for example our templating engine fluid uh, that that could actually be used in symphony that would be quite nice okay um that's it i think um thank you gentlemen thank you. nicola pastorino robert lemke uh, it was a Pleasure talking to you, good content, <laughs> and uh, auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>